not to cut you off, but there's some money here. I gave some random guy $2,000. <laughs> it's on his 12th YouTube channel. My butt's on a mannequin's butt. It feels weird. This is real gold. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Yours didn't even pop. Am I here? Interview, take one, Mark. Let's get quiet on set. How do you feel about going up against the most prolific pro gamer ever? Uh, Fortnite pro gamer ever. League of Legends, I mean, I, I've seen his streams. I'm not that worried. This match actually means a lot to me because I one day want to own a League of Legends team. I've never really done anything publicly with League, even though I've kind of played for the last seven or eight years, and I, I love the game, I love watching eSports. This is my first time dipping my toe into the League world. I've been playing League of Legends probably for about at least seven years, but definitely on and off. I'm actually just getting re-addicted to it. I've been playing it for the last like week and a half, so I'm already plat one, climbing. You want to beat him? Oh, I absolutely want to beat him, of course. I'm a very competitive person. I mean, my pride's on the line. Like, if I lose for the rest of the time, I'm gonna be the guy who lost to Ninja. I'm just picturing Jimmy's face. <laughs> I never get to do these things. Do I just drop it? Currently, we're in our studio, which I bet is better than Ninja's, if he even has one. Uh, <laughs> we got a new campus now, but for probably two or three years, I basically lived here, slept here. This is my entire life. Basically, after we film, we just throw all the weird stuff in here. I know over here there's a ton of baby dolls, because for whatever reason, I love throwing baby dolls. <laughs> Maybe let's go arms crossed. All the classic eSports, arms crossed. Trying to look tough when I'm sitting at a computer. When I see Jimmy in terms of his role for YouTube and just what he's done for the entirety of the platform, I think he's just raised the bar. I don't think anyone has done what he has done. What he won't put himself through for the sake of content or for the sake of something that's never been done before, he'll do it. You just sometimes wake up in the morning and it's like, I have an idea, let's go execute that. I used to, and that was when it was the most fun. Now I have to wake up and go, I have an idea. And then we plan for four months. And then we film it, because they've gotten so big. Do you think like there's a significance to you being the biggest YouTube creator of all time and Ninja maybe being the biggest Twitch creator? Well, it's not maybe. He is the most followed person on Twitch. You know, I have grandparents that come up to me and they're like, my kid loves watching you. I am very good at a lot of the games that I play. And I think that that is what makes an elite gamer, right? Somebody who's not just good at one game, but can perform and place tournament wise in every game and, and compete at the top level, which I've done in several games. Ninja's gonna say, I'm not a professional gamer, but I have one of the largest gaming channels on YouTube. So technically, I am a gamer, like a professional gamer. Oh, it's unlocked. Let's yeah. go. This is where we film all our gaming videos. These rooms are soundproof, and we have four of these. So this is where Chris sits. We can close the doors so there's no echo, but we can still like flick each other off and stuff. And so that's where I am. I used to play League of Legends like every day for like two to three hours a day, but then a year ago, I kind of was like, I need to crank it down. So I only play like once or twice a week now. But with this tournament coming up, I was about to ramp it back up to two to three hours a day, maybe even more. I don't think there's enough practice in the world for Jimmy to be good at League of Legends. He's practicing. I know he is. Two hours a day. Either. That's it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna practice intelligently. I'm gonna go reach out to a bunch of pros, pay them to train me, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah. Like if I just play ranked, you know, I'll suck. So if you're a pro player watching this, DM me on Twitter, Give me your best tips, I need help. I already have a pretty solid team in the back of my head. I think it's gonna be a stomp. Do you know who he's thinking of picking for his team? I do. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have money, so let's make, you, let's make something work. So me, on the top of my head, I was thinking of uh, and being two of my players. I will probably take you know, obviously he's in my videos. All right, now give me one of his people. Sap? He wants Sap now? I want Sap now. Sap now's actually really good. I called dibs on can we just establish that he's not allowed to have more than one pro? Can we just make that an official rule? Hmm, okay, so we can have one pro. I'm assuming that means current. It doesn't really phase me. He's screwed. He's done for. It'll take a little bit of effort. I mean, he's, you know, he's an old washed up gamer, but I also have to try. With everything that Mr. Beast does, there's no way that he has a legitimate amount of time to put in practice and effort for this event. I think it'll show on the court, dude. Why should they root for me? Root for me because Ninja sucks. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. This is gonna be easy. 
I hope they introduce the players and when Ninja's up there, everyone in the crowd just starts flossing. Just out of spite for New Year's Eve, that would be funny. You know, it's funny because that actually really hurts. That's kind of rude, man. Okay, tape's harder to rip than I thought. I'm gonna ball it and throw it instead. Take that, Ninja. <laughs> Bet you feel threatened. Without a shadow of a doubt, Mr. Beast cannot beat me at League of Legends. I'm gonna role play as Ninja when we beat him. Eyes on me, kids. As Ninja would say, let's go. That was me mocking him. July 9th, me and my ensemble versus Ninja and his ensemble in Vegas. I'll see you guys there.